This is a stick horse, as you can see we're using quite a few balloons here. I've got a pink or fuchsia 260 with about 5 inches uninflated on the end of it. I've got two light brown or toffee 260s with about 2 inches uninflated on the end of them. I've got a lime green 260 with about 4 or 5 inches uninflated on the end of it. And then I've got two 360s. Uh, pink or fuchsia with about four or five inches uninflated and this is going to be our stick This is a violet uh, 360 with just a tiny bit uninflated on the end of it just enough so I can come to this end Soften it a little bit and then put a pair of pinch twists in the end of it This one There we go Two. So we've got our two pinch twists out on the end of that, and we're going to set that aside. We won't need that for a little while. Now we're going to take our pink or fuchsia 360 and make our head. So we're going to make a pair of pinch twists on the end of this one as well. Just like that. And we're going to make about an inch and a half to two inch bubble followed by another pair of pinch twists. So you should have two pinch twists, your bubble in between them, and then two more pinch twists there. Now we'll make about a two and a half to three inch bubble, a slightly smaller bubble. And we need another bubble the same size as that second one. Followed by, oh, that's a little small, there we go. Followed by a fourth bubble the same size as that one there. Wrap, lock that into the two pinch twist. Now we're going to take that diamond, pull it together and twist those together, but you're going to have to hang on to that because it won't stay. Then bring your other one down. Lay it across there. Uh, hang on to it. And then twist into the middle of that diamond where we just lock it together. Like that. That is your horse's head. Now we're going to take and I'm going to shorten that neck just a little bit. Trim the end off. Let some air out. And then retie it. Now we're going to take our 360. And we're going to take the neck of a horse and attach it into those two pinch twists on the end of our 360. And again, the, uh, the violet, I should say. They're both 360s. And what that's going to make is the stick that you're going to ride on. And obviously, you can't see it all at one time. But well, that's a long stick that someone can ride. Okay, now we're going to take our line 260. We're going to attach it in at the ears. The back of the head there. And we're going to make a string of pearls for his mane that's going to go down to the two pinch twists on the stick and then back up to the ears. So just make a string of pearls. It's going to run down. Figure out how many it's going to take to get down to your two pinch twists on the end of your stick. Then twist them into that. And then make another string of pearls. Reverse it over to go back up the other side and reattach back into the base of the ear to complete the mane. And shoot. Get back up the ears. Make sure your finger pearls are going to want to stay. There we go. Lock those in by twisting him around the back of his head and his ears. It's going to pop the excess off. And just secure that loose hand. Tuck it into the head there. And now your horse has a head and a mane. Now we're going to make a bridle. We're going to take our two toffee 360s. <coughs> excuse me, two 60s. We're going to make about a two inch bubble followed by a pinch twist in the first one. And then we're going to repeat that same thing in the second one. Just like that. We're going to take and twist the nozzles 
into the two pinch twists to secure them. Lock them together. Now we're going to take our horse head, put that on the bottom, and it doesn't matter which one, but wrap one of the two sixties over the top of his head, twist it where it crosses over, and then twist it into the pinch twist on the other side. Pull that back up a little bit. So you can see we're going to get a bridle there. Now this other one, we're going to take, I'm going to come around the back of his head, secure it in place, and then we're going to, where it crosses over the pinch twist again, lock into that pinch twist on the other side, just like that. That's going to complete his bridle. And then the two parts that are remaining are your two reins. You can leave them separate coming out the back, or if you want to lock them together and give them a loop to work with, you can do that. It's your choice. But there is your stick pony.